Hello, welcome back to Ojolak Pay Space. Today I'm going to be talking about the benefits of okra and how it can be used to boost ovulation for women trying to conceive. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button, share, like, and click the notification bell. Now, as we all know that okra, which contain vitamin A, vitamin C, and, mag and magnesium, it is also known as lady finger. I'm going to talk about the benefits of okra. Number one, if you are low in iron, you can take okra water. You can incorporate okra into your meal. It will boost your iron level. Before I continue with the benefit of okra, uh, you can see I'm dicing my okra. I'm going to, I'm, I'm just making use of four four uh, ladies finger because four is enough you don't take excess now i'm just dicing i'm going to be dicing them everything as i dice them now that's an, another benefit of okra is okra improved the immune system okra has high amount of vitamin c and antioxidants that helps to improve your humidity number three Okra helps you to reduce blood sugar level. If you are diabetic, okra water will help you to reduce your blood sugar level. If you are taking it every day, your blood sugar is going to drop. Yes, I'm still slicing my okra. Another benefit of okra is okra boosts ovulation. It is going to make you hyper ovulate. Yes, okra makes you hyper ovulate if you're looking for the fruit of the womb if you are looking to conceive you take okra water it is very 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 good another benefit of okra is okra is used in the treatment of ulcer as it neutralizes acid in the body it neutralizes acid in the body so if you have ulcer you are feeling hot in your stomach you can take okra water it, it neutralize the acid in the body now i'm going to be packing my sliced okra into my can i'm getting a very clean can and i'm putting my okra and as i packed everything i'm going to add water yes you're going to use water it's just okra and water only yes i'm nice and i'm adding my Okra. I'm, I'm with my hawker now. I'm going to add my water, a clean water. So I'm adding water into my okra. Not too much water, just a, the the amount that you know you can consume at once. And after adding my water, as you can see, you can see the water, and you see my okra. Yes, the okra is going to be floating. It's not going to sink. So after adding water, I'm going to be covering up my, you can see, I get a very clean cover to cover the, to cover it so that it will, because I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm not drinking it immediately. You can, as you can see, I'm not going to take it immediately. So I'm going to cover it up and keep it to take it the next day so i'm going to keep it in a very good place so this is my okra water prepare yes you as you can see it this actually eye is going to look like if you look at it round yes so don't forget like i've said that you can incorporate okra leaf into your diet you can cook your egusi soup and add your okra leaf yes it is very very good it will boost your ovulation it's good. yes you can see this is the next day and you can see my okra water so i'm going to remove the okra wow mm. you can see it's already slimy so i'm going to wow so slimy <laughs> I see my okra water is so I'm going to remove everything so slimy
so i'm going to sieve it i'm opening another container now this now as i remove every the okra i'm going to dispose this okra that i've removed from the water wow can you see my water it's cloudy so i'm going to get another container now this okra water that you so as the water is cloudy that is how you are going to take the okra water i'm going to i will save everything now you might want to throw up after taking so you don't rush it when you are taking your okra water you just take it gradually and you don't keep to the next day once you've done this this morning you are going to take everything you are drinking everything and you do another one the next day you continue to drink let's make more emphasis on the fruits of the womb because we are talking about how to boost your ovulation now we can also use okra leaf like i've said before you can use your curl leaf as your vegetable when you are cooking your soup. You can take your okra leaf, yeah, looking for the fruit of the womb. Then you go and look for okra leaves and cook it together with okra. This will make you highly fertile. It causes multiple eggs to be released. You have to eat it daily, especially two weeks before ovulation and one day before ovulation if you are that person that wants to conceive they consider putting okra in your daily diet yes you have to put okra in your daily diet if you know you want to conceive so when you're cooking your okra you had your okra leaf if you have if you can get your okra leaf around it's very very good it will make you to conceive not only conceive you can conceive of twins or triplets Thank you. As you can see, my okra water, this is ready to drink. So you drink this every day until you conceive. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment on my channel. Now, is okra water tasty? I want your reply. Comment section. Thank you. Bye.